shot down, and then your your uh, rib, your forearm was still horizontal to the ground. Okay. I know that this is how we might start finishing our normal straight foot lock, but um, if you want to cause more damage and you want to motivate them to tap more, what we want is we want to try and get our elbow under their leg. Okay. So I talked to a couple of you guys about that. If I haven't yet, that's the kind of main point with the start of foot lock. Because when I come in now, I'm actually creating like a heel hook pressure. Okay. Um, is it illegal? No, it's completely legal. But if you can start to cause a bit of rotation and make their foot go through different angles, it's gonna be much easier because most people are pretty flexible like through that normal motion. If you start turning it like that, you're gonna start damaging their stuff. Okay, what well, worse stuff then, but better for you. Okay, <laughs> does that make sense? Are there any questions about that shotgun foot lock? Um, anything I can like address generally? Now, you, you guys all got it working. Is there anyone who couldn't get it working? We, when you um, yeah. when you take take them down, yeah. Do you are you trying to be in that deep mm. position as you come down? Yeah. Because there's no room to really adjust it. The the, the more you can um, position yourself to be right in the spot um, as you land the sweep to start taking that, the better. Okay. You don't really want to leave lag with guys where their hip hits the mat and then you start sitting up. And, you know, that allows them time to get back into the game. Okay. Um, I never really want to stop my tempo once I get on offense. And I think that with leg locks, that's even more true than other positions. Because as soon as you take a photograph where you like start admiring your handiwork and you take the, the pressure off the gas, is when they count again. So, Especially with this move, if you can get ahead, you're going to get taps pretty damn quickly with this and um, yeah, really ruin guys' days. And I guess that the advantage, especially if you're going into big competitions with big brackets, is having a sh good short sharp leg lock sequence, that's going to help you tons in early rounds. Um, and it's especially from the ADCC experience that I've had, those early rounds where there's no points in the first half and no penalty for guard pulling, why would you not take that round? Why would you wrestle for a whole round just to go into an overtime when you can pull guard and leg lock? So if you have that sharp avenue like this or others, that, that's really, really gonna help. Um, so yeah, be prepared to like have your core ready to go. You're like, I'm pulling the trigger on this. And as we're going, we're, we're thinking about our hip position because that's the most important with any leg lock, it's about where my hips are. And I always want to try and be behind his knee. So, you know, if I'm starting to get like here, there's not really anything I can do to his leg. You know, it's a different story. If I start getting here, then yeah, I can do it again. But I always have to have some kind of the V of my hips, either behind or above his knee. So if you can monitor that and police that, it's gonna be really hard for him to counter or defend it's going to be very easy for you to find some kind of finish on it. Yeah. Cool. Does that answer your question? Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So team, um, that's our straight foot lock from there. We're going to look at how you might enter that. I want to give you a whole sequence, okay? Because no one's going to let you just lie underneath them and get this, okay? So I'm going to show you from shin to shin. Probably one of my favorite um, positions still, and I've been using this since white belt. It's, it's super powerful. I'm going to show you two different variations on how to go from shin to shin to single leg kicks, okay? One basic, one a little bit more advanced, okay? So, with your training partner, they're going to just go into their normal stance here. One leg forward, one leg backwards. Whichever leg is forward is going to be the one you attack, okay? Shortest target. I'm going to go in, and I want to grab a nice false grip, okay? I don't want to try and grab his knee like this. I don't want to just go short. I'm trying to go like a big sloth grip, okay? deep behind his knee and I'm going to scoot in shin to shin okay most of you will have seen this position before it's quite a common position but we're going to look at two different avenues to get to leg lock positions from here okay the first one the more simple one is where I start to fall to the inside here okay I essentially want to bring my shoulder and my head underneath and I'm going to fall to my side kicking that leg up and pulling his leg off my shin into my hip so we're here, in, I'm going to start coming under, lifting his leg up, through, and then you can shoot to your single leg eggs. And as you can see, I'm right where I need to be if I want to go to my shotgun foot lock. 
Um, recently, when I've been doing single leg eggs, I almost always do this grip now versus like a normal footlock grip, okay? Just because I get more control over his leg. And while he's standing, why would I not want that, you know? If I can control more of this leg, it's gonna be harder for him to step, harder for him to push in with his knee if he tries to. I can change the direction of it with my hips and with my hand. Okay, so we're gonna go shin to shin. He can give you whichever leg he wants, okay? You're gonna to have to get good at both sides. Um, you know, you don't ever just drill one side of this or expect him to stand with that. Oh, I missed it. Now you're not ready. You wanna have that pathway nice and tight. Here, again, leg up, shoot. Single leg eggs with your shotgun grip. If you want, you can take the sequence all the way to the finish here, where we get in and we can get our finish. All right, cool. So that's like our normal shin to shin to single leg X entry. Let's just work on that, make sure we can all hit that nicely, and then we'll look at the more advanced one together, okay? Any questions? Oh, <laughs> <laughs>